Pharmacokinetics involves the study of which factor? 1. Physiologic interactions of drugs 2. Interactions among various drugs 3. Adverse reactions to medications 4. Distribution rates among various body compartments. Answer 4. Distribution rates among various body compartments rational. Pharmacokinetics involves how the drug moves through the body, including absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. It is not specifically the study of interactions or adverse reactions. Which enzyme is responsible for the metabolism of drugs in the liver during first pass metabolism? 1. Tylen 2. Gastric lipase 3. P450 enzymes 4. Pancreatic lipase. Answer 3. P450 enzymes rational. Multiple enzymes are required for the hepatic metabolism of drugs. P450 enzymes are a group of enzymes present in the liver. They are microsomal enzymes, which control a variety of reactions involved in the metabolism of medications. Tylen, gastric lipase, and pancreatic lipase are digestive enzymes involved in the digestion of food in the gastrointestinal tract. A patient has taken a drug orally. If the drug has a high first pass effect, which statement about the drug is appropriate? 1. Formation of active metabolites is high in bile. 2. Formation of inactive metabolites is high in feces. 3. Formation of inactive metabolites is high in the liver. 4. Formation of inactive metabolites is low in the kidneys. Answer 3. Formation of inactive metabolites is high in the liver. Rational, the first pass effect is determined by the levels of active or inactive metabolites of a drug in the liver or blood, not kidneys after first pass metabolism. If the drug has a high first pass effect, the proportion of drug metabolized into inactive metabolites is high in the liver. As a result, a smaller amount of active metabolites will be released into the blood. So, the higher the first pass effect, the lower the bioavailability of active metabolites. The formation of an active metabolite is low in the liver and high in feces, indicating that the drug has a low first pass effect. A drug with low first pass metabolism will have high active metabolites in bile. A patient experiences syncope after taking a first dose of an antihypertensive drug. The primary health care provider suspects the syncope to be the result of extension of pharmacologic action of the drug. What nursing finding is helpful in monitoring for the extension of the pharmacologic action of a drug? 1. Rash 2. Urticaria 3. Hypotension 4. Anaphylactic shock. Answer 3. Hypotension rational extended pharmacologic action is an increased therapeutic effect of the drug. In this patient, the antihypertensive drug was supposed to control blood pressure by reducing it. However, it reduced the blood pressure to such an extent that the patient had hypotension. Rash, urticaria, and anaphylactic shock are allergic manifestations of a drug. A patient has a wound infection. A swab of the wound is sent for culture and pending culture results. The primary health care provider starts an intravenous antibiotic. Which type of therapy has been prescribed for this patient? 1. Empiric therapy 2. Palliative therapy 3. Prophylactic therapy 4. Maintenance therapy. Answer 1. Empiric therapy rational empiric therapy involves drug administration based on the patient's symptoms when there is a high likelihood of a certain pathologic condition. Palliative therapy is used to relieve patients of specific symptoms, pain, and stress related to an illness. Prophylactic therapy is administered to prevent illness or to prevent complications during a planned event. Maintenance therapy is used in chronic illnesses to prevent progression of the disease. However, it may not eradicate the problem.
What is the study of physiochemical properties of drugs and how they influence the body called? A. Pharmacokinetics B. Pharmacotherapeutics C. Pharmacology D. Pharmacodynamics Answer D. Pharmacodynamics Rational in simple terms, pharmacodynamics is the study of what drugs do to the body. Which statement best describes pharmacokinetics? A physiologic interaction between a drug and body cells B. Adverse effects in toxic reactions to medication C. What the body does to the drug after it is administered D. It converts medication into its active chemical substance. Answer C. What the body does to the drug after it is administered rational pharmacokinetics involves the study of how the drug moves through the body, including absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. What is another term for biotransformation of a drug? A. Excretion B. Absorption C. Metabolism D. Dilution Answer C. Metabolism rational. Metabolism connotes a breakdown of a product. Biotransformation is actually a more accurate term. Because some drugs are actually changed into an active form in the liver in contrast to being broken down for excretion. Dilution is to make something less concentrated. Excretion is the elimination of drugs from the body. Absorption is the movement of a drug from its site of administration into the bloodstream for distribution to the tissues. A drug given by which root is altered by the first pass effect. A. Sublingual B. Intravenous IV C. Oral D. Subcutaneous subcut. Answer C. Oral rational medications absorbed in the stomach and small intestine travel through the portal system and are metabolized by the liver before they reach the general circulation. Drug half-life is defined as the amount of time required for 50% of a drug to be absorbed by the body. B. Exert a response. C. Be eliminated by the body. D. Reach a therapeutic level. Answer. C. Be eliminated by the body. Rational in pharmacokinetics, the time required for half of an administered dose of drug to be eliminated by the body. Or the time it takes for the blood level of a drug to be reduced by 50% is the drug's half-life, also called elimination half-life. Which nursing action will increase the absorption of a medication administered intramuscularly? I am. A. Administer the medication via the z track method. B. Apply ice packs to the injection site. C. Lower the extremity below the level of the heart. D. Massage the site after an injection. Answer. D. Massage the site after an injection. Rational, massaging the site increases circulation to the area and thus increases absorption, but this should not be performed after all IM injections. It is drug-specific. See the recommendations on specific drugs. When administering two medications that are highly protein-bound, the nurse understands to monitor the patient carefully for which effect. A increase in the risk of drug-drug interactions B. Hypovolemic shock caused by a low albumin level C. Immediate improvement in the patient's condition D. A short duration of medication action Answer A. Increase in the risk of drug-drug interactions rational When administering two medications that are highly protein-bound, the medications can compete for binding sites on plasma proteins. This competition results in either less of both or less of one of the drugs binding to the proteins, thus increasing the risk of toxicity or adverse effects. To achieve the most rapid onset of action, the healthcare provider will prescribe the medication to be administered by which route? A. I and B. I V C. Subcut D. Intrathecally.
Answer. Be IV rational. When a drug is administered IV, it does not need to be absorbed because it is injected directly into the circulation. Patients with renal failure would most likely have problems with which pharmacokinetic process? A. Absorption B. Metabolism C. Distribution D. Excretion Answer. D. Excretion rational. The kidneys are responsible for the majority of drug excretion. What is the ratio between a drug's therapeutic effects and toxic effects called? A. Therapeutic index B. Tolerance C. Cumulative effect D. Affinity Answer. A therapeutic index rational. The ratio of a drug's therapeutic benefits to its toxic effects is referred to as the drug's therapeutic index. A patient asks the nurse why a lower dose of IV pain medication is being given than the previous oral dose. What is the nurse's best response to the patient? A. A large percentage of an intravenously administered drug is metabolized into an active metabolites in the liver. B. Medications given intravenously are not affected by the first pass effect. C. Drugs administered intravenously enter the portal system before systemic distribution. D. Medications given orally bypass the portal circulatory system. Answer. B. Medications given intravenously are not affected by the first pass effect. Rational. When drugs with a high first pass effect are administered orally. A large amount of drug may be metabolized before it reaches the systemic circulation. The same drug given IV will bypass the liver. This prevents the first pass effect from taking place, and therefore more of the drug reaches the circulation. Parenteral doses of drugs with a high first pass effect are much smaller than oral doses, yet they produce the same pharmacologic response. Which is a characteristic of highly protein-bound drugs? 1. They increase the risk of drug-drug interactions. 2. They typically provide a short duration of action. 3. They must be administered with 8 ounces of water. 4. They have a decreased effect in patients with a low albumin level. Answer. 1. They increase the risk of drug-drug interactions. Rational, when administering two medications that are highly protein-bound, the medications can compete for binding sites on plasma proteins. This competition results in either less of both or less of one of the drugs binding to the proteins, thus increasing the risk of toxicity. A patient has symptoms of an upper respiratory infection. The primary health care provider prescribes an antibiotic drug that causes the destruction of bacterial cell walls. Which mechanism of action does the drug use? 1. Enzyme interaction 2. Selective interaction 3. Receptor interaction 4. Non-selective interaction Answer 4. Non-selective interaction rational drugs that act non-selectively do not interact with specific receptors and enzymes but target cell structures and intracellular metabolic processes. In this case, the drug acts on the cell wall of the bacteria. Non-selective drugs may show their therapeutic effect by interacting with receptors or certain enzymes. Drug enzyme interaction occurs when the drug chemically binds to an enzyme molecule in such a way that it alters, inhibits, or enhances the enzyme's interaction with its normal target molecules in the body. Enzymes are the substances that catalyze nearly every biochemical reaction in a cell. Drugs can produce effects by interacting with these enzyme systems. For a drug to alter a physiologic response in this way, it may either inhibit more common or enhance less common the action of a specific enzyme. This process is called selective interaction. Drug receptor interaction is the joining of the drug molecule with a reactive site on the surface of a cell or tissue. 
To achieve the most rapid onset of action, the primary health care provider will prescribe the medication to be administered by which route? 1. Intrathecally 2. Intravenously 3. Subcutaneously 4. Intramuscularly. Answer 2. Intravenously rational. When a drug is administered intravenously, it does not need to be absorbed because it is placed directly into general circulation. The onset of action for the intrathecal, subcutaneous, and intramuscular routes is not as rapid as the intravenous route. A patient who has been prescribed an antibiotic capsule to treat pharyngitis is reluctant to swallow the capsule. How should the nurse advise the patient to take the medication? 1. Crush the capsule. 2. Chew the granules in the capsule. 3. Dissolve the granules in a beverage. 4. Open the capsule and sprinkle the granules on soft food. Answer 4. Open the capsule and sprinkle the granules on soft food. Rational capsules with granules inside them are meant for extended release of the active drug, in this case, an antibiotic. Swallowing the granules by sprinkling them on food would result in slow release of the drug. Crushing, chewing, and dissolving the capsule leads to immediate or premature release of the active drug and undesired rapid action. A patient presents to the emergency department with acute angina-like chest pain. The nurse is instructed to administer nitroglycerin to the patient. Which route of administration would be ideal for this patient? 1. Oral 2. Rectal 3. Sublingual 4. Subcutaneous. Answer 3. Sublingual rational, the sublingual oral mucosa is highly vascularized, so drugs that are administered sublingually, one, two, are rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream. Moreover, the first pass metabolism is circumvented with this method. Oral drugs have varied rates of absorption, depending on the form of dosage. Rectal administration of drugs is used for systemic effects or local effects for diseases in the rectum or adjacent bowel. The subcutaneous route is preferred for drugs that are poorly soluble, and hence they are injected into the skin. The rate of absorption is slower than sublingual administration. A patient is prescribed ciprofloxacin for bronchitis. What instructions should a nurse give to the patient to prevent antagonistic effects? 1. Avoid taking the drug with milk. 2. Take an antacid along with the drug. 3. Take the drug with vitamin supplements. 4. Take the drug with iron-rich foods like spinach. Answer 1. Avoid taking the drug with milk. Rational. An antagonistic effect occurs when the combination of two drugs results in a lesser drug effect as compared with that when the drugs are administered individually. Ciprofloxacin has an antagonistic effect with dairy products, therefore, it should not be administered with milk or other dairy products. Antacids, vitamins, and iron reduce the absorption of ciprofloxacin and decrease its effectiveness. Therefore, ciprofloxacin should not be administered. A patient asks the nurse why a lower dose of intravenous pain medication is being given than the previous oral dose. What knowledge will the nurse draw on to respond to the patient? 1. Medications given orally bypass the portal circulatory system. 2. Medications given intravenously are not affected by the first pass effect. 3. Drugs administered intravenously enter the portal system before systemic distribution. 4. A large percentage of an intravenously administered drug is metabolized into an active metabolite in the liver. Answer 2. Medications given intravenously are not affected by the first pass effect. Rational when drugs with a high first pass effect are administered orally. A large amount of drug may be metabolized before it reaches the systemic circulation. The same drug given intravenously will bypass the liver. This prevents the first pass effect from taking place.
and therefore more of the drug reaches the circulation. Parenteral doses of drugs with a high first pass effect are much smaller than oral doses, yet they produce the same pharmacologic response. A primary health care provider prescribes fentanyl as pain relief for palliative care. Which route of administration is most likely to be used in this case? 1. Oral 2. Buccal 3. Intravenous 4. Transdermal. Answer 4. Transdermal rational. The transdermal route of administration 1, 2 delivers a constant amount of drug over a specified length of time. It is convenient for consistent pain relief in patients with advanced disease conditions. It is preferred over oral, buccal, and intravenous routes. Drug administered through these routes have either a long peak value or a short duration of action. Which action, when performed by the nurse, will increase the absorption of a medication administered intramuscularly? 1. Massaging the site after injection 2. Applying cold packs to the injection site 3. Lowering the extremity below the level of the heart 4. Administering the medication via the z track method. Answer 1. Massaging the site after injection rational. Massaging the site increases circulation to the area and thus increases absorption. But this should not be performed after all intramuscular injections. It is drug specific. The nurse should always check the recommendations on specific drugs. Applying cold packs, lowering the extremity below heart level and administering medication via the z track method will not increase the absorption of a medication. A nurse is teaching a group of nursing students about various drugs such as insulin and their natural sources. What is the other main source of natural insulin besides humans? 1. Pigs 2. Mice 3. Horses 4. Rabbits. Answer 1. Pigs rational. Among other pig-rived drugs, insulin is a common derivative. Mice and rabbits are used in preclinical trials of drugs. Horses are used to derive conjugated estrogens. The nurse is caring for a patient with Parkinson's disease who is receiving monoamine oxidase inhibitors MAOIs. The nurse teaches dietary guidelines to the patient's caregiver. Which statement by the patient's caregiver indicates effective learning? 1. I should avoid giving the patient milk. 2. I should avoid giving the patient orange juice. 3. I should avoid giving the patient aged cheese. 4. I should avoid giving the patient green leafy vegetables. Answer 3. I should avoid giving the patient aged cheese. Rational MAOIs increase the tyramine levels in the body. MAOIs interact with food rich in tyramine, such as aged cheese, and increase the risk of a hypertensive crisis. Therefore, the nurse should suggest that the caregiver avoid providing aged cheese to the patient. Milk as a good source of calcium and does not interact with MAOIs. Orange juice and green leafy vegetables do not interact with MAOIs. What term means the ratio between a drug's therapeutic effects and toxic effects? 1. Affinity 2. Tolerance 3. Cumulative Effect 4. Therapeutic Index Answer 4. Therapeutic Index Rational The ratio of a drug's therapeutic benefits to its toxic effects is referred to as the drug's therapeutic index. The degree to which a drug attaches to and binds with a receptor is called its affinity. Tolerance is a reduced response to a drug after prolonged use. A drug can accumulate when it is absorbed more quickly than it is eliminated or when it is administered before the previous dose has been metabolized or cleared from the body. A patient who has type 2 diabetes has poorly controlled blood glucose. The patient is currently taking oral medications but they are increasingly ineffective. What term is attributed to such a condition? 1. Addiction 2. Tolerance 3. 
Dependence 4, Therapeutic Index. Answer 2. Tolerance Rational tolerance is a physiologic response in which the therapeutic response to a drug is diminished because of its prolonged presence in the body. Prolonged use of anti-diabetic medication results in decreased effectiveness of the drug. Psychological dependence is called addiction. Dependence is a patient's physiologic need for a drug. The therapeutic index is the ratio of toxic drug level and therapeutic drug level. When reviewing a patient's medical records, the nurse finds that the patient had developed an idiosyncratic reaction to aspirin. What should the nurse infer? 1. The therapeutic index of the drug may have been high. 2. The patient may have taken an excess dose of the drug. 3. The patient may have taken the drug with grapefruit juice. 4. The patient may have a deficiency of drug metabolizing enzymes. Answer 4. The patient may have a deficiency of drug metabolizing enzymes. Rational and idiosyncratic reaction occurs unexpectedly in certain patients. It is a genetically determined reaction and occurs when a patient has a deficiency or excess of drug metabolizing enzymes. Patients with a glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency may have idiosyncratic reactions to drugs such as aspirin. A high therapeutic index does not cause idiosyncratic reactions. Taking a drug in excess will result in an overdose and lead to toxicity of the drug. Taking certain drugs with grapefruit juice may cause increased effects of the drug. A patient is taking a drug with a low therapeutic index TI. What are the factors associated with this drug that the nurse should be aware of? 1. There is less possibility of developing dependence. 2. There is a high possibility that overdose events will occur. 3. The drug will have low tolerance when compared with other drugs. 4. The chances of side effects are low with this drug relative to other drugs. Answer 2. There is a high possibility that overdose events will occur rational. A low TI indicates that the difference between the therapeutically active dose and the toxic dose of the drug is small. Therefore, a drug that has a low TI has a greater likelihood of side effects relative to other drugs. There may be a high possibility of overdose with this drug. Tolerance and dependence are not related to the TI. After undergoing the first dose of a new antihypertensive medication, the patient complains of hives with severe itching. The nurse explains to the patient that this is caused by an allergic reaction to the drug. What body system triggers an allergic reaction? 1. Immune system 2. Nervous system 3. Circulatory system 4. Dermatologic system. Answer 1. Immune system rational. When the body's immune system recognizes a drug molecule or metabolite as a foreign substance, it initiates a mechanism to neutral it. This type of heightened immunologic response to a drug or substance is called an allergic reaction. The nervous system, circulatory system, and dermatologic system do not initiate an allergic reaction. A patient has taken an enteric-coated medication with a large amount of food. How would this affect the bioavailability of the drug? 1. It will be increased. 2. It will become zero. 3. It will be decreased. 4. It will be unaffected. Answer 3. It will be decreased. Rational enteric coating is designed to protect a drug from dissolution until it can be absorbed in the intestines. Taking the drug with large amounts of food may cause it to be dissolved by acidic stomach contents, therefore reducing its intestinal absorption. It will further reduce the bioavailability of the drug. The bioavailability does not increase because the drug may become inactive in reaction to gastric acids. Taking enteric-coated tablets with large amounts of food does not make the bioavailability zero. Taking enteric-coated tablets with food interferes with the drug's bioavailability. 
The nurse needs to be aware that which factors will affect the absorption of orally administered medications. Select all that apply. 1. Time of day 2. pH of the stomach 3. Form of drug preparation 4. Presence of food in the stomach 5. Patient position upon intake of medication. Answer 1. Time of day 2. pH of the stomach 3. Form of drug preparation 4. Presence of food in the stomach rational. Various factors affect the rate of drug absorption, including the time of day. Acidity of the stomach drug formulation. Presence of food or fluids administered with the drug administration. Root of the drug status of the absorptive surface. Rate of blood flow to the small intestine and status of gastrointestinal motility. The patient position does not affect the rate of absorption. A patient is prescribed an oral anti-diabetic drug. Which type of therapy has been prescribed? 1. Acute therapy 2. Palliative therapy 3. Maintenance therapy 4. Supplemental therapy Answer 3. Maintenance therapy rational. Maintenance therapy maintains the patient in a stable state of a disease or condition and may not actively cure the disease. Acute therapy is implemented to immediately cure diseases. Palliative therapy is started when all curative therapies of end-stage organ diseases are unsuccessful. Supplemental therapies are used to supplement efficient substances in the body along with other therapies. A patient is prescribed an enteric coated preparation to prevent stomach irritation related to a drug. What should the nurse advise this patient regarding administration of an enteric coated preparation? Select all that apply. 1. Anticholinergic drugs may negate the effect of the enteric coating. 2. The enteric coated drugs should be crushed before administration. 3. The enteric coating prevents absorption of the drug in the intestine. 4. The enteric coating prevents dissolution of the drug in the stomach. 5. The enteric coated drugs should be taken with large amounts of food. Answer 1. Anticholinergic drugs may negate the effect of the enteric coating. 4. The enteric coating prevents dissolution of the drug in the stomach. Rational. Anticholinergic drugs reduce gastric transitime and may result in dissolution of the drug in the stomach itself. Therefore, enteric-coated tablets should not be taken with anticholinergic drugs. Enteric-coated tablets are resistant to dissolution in the stomach because of the coating. These tablets should not be crushed because it hampers the effectiveness of the drug. Enteric-coated tablets dissolve and are absorbed in intestine. Eating a large amount of food may also result in dissolution of the drug in the stomach itself and negate the drug effect. A patient is brought to the emergency department with a history of an overdose of acetaminophen. The healthcare team starts treatment involving various protocols to prevent possible toxicity. What measures should be taken to reverse the toxic effects of the drug? Select all that apply. 1. Obtain blood work. 2. Administer anesthesia. 3. Ensure a patent airway. 4. Administer acetylcysteine. 5. Administer activated charcoal. 6. Administer intravenous calcium. Answer 1. Obtain blood work. 3. Ensure a patent airway. 4. Administer acetylcysteine. 5. Administer activated charcoal, rational in a case of drug overdose and possible toxicity. The first priority would be preservation of vital functions such as the airway and circulation. Administration of activated charcoal prevents further absorption of the drug into the blood. Blood work should be obtained to determine the concentration of the drug present in the blood and the antidote acetylcysteine should be administered. Anesthesia does not serve any purpose in reducing drug toxicity. Intravenous calcium may be administered when there is an overdose of calcium channel blockers. 
a patient has been prescribed amoxicillin and probenicid. The patient wants to know the reason for the prescription of two drugs. What is the nurse's best response? Select all that apply. 1. Combination therapy is beneficial to the patient. 2. Probenicid reduces allergic reactions to amoxicillin. 3. Probenicid prevents the renal excretion of amoxicillin. 4. Probenicid increases the duration of action of amoxicillin. 5. Probenicid enhances the antibacterial action of amoxicillin. Answer 1. Combination therapy is beneficial to the patient. 3. Probenicid prevents the renal excretion of amoxicillin. 4. Probenicid increases the duration of action of amoxicillin. Rational. The combination of amoxicillin and probenicid is beneficial to the patient. Probenicid prevents the renal excretion of amoxicillin and therefore prolongs the duration of action of amoxicillin. Probenicid does not reduce allergic reactions to, nor does it enhance the antibacterial action of amoxicillin. When a drug should circumvent first pass metabolism in the liver, what are the recommended routes of administering that drug? Select all that apply. 1. Oral 2. Intranasal 3. Intraocular 4. Transdermal 5. Injection into the portal vein. Answer 2. Intranasal 3. Intraocular 4. Transdermal rational drugs administered through intranasal, intraocular, and transdermal routes circumvent first pass metabolism. First pass metabolism takes place in the liver, which drugs reach through the portal venous system or hepatic arterial system. Drugs can reach the portal venous system directly when they are absorbed through the gastrointestinal system into the portal circulation. They can also reach the portal venous system when given as an injection into a portal vein. Drugs administered through the oral or portal venous route are subjected to first pass metabolism. Drugs exert the actions on the body by performing which actions? Select all that apply. 1. Interacting with receptors. 2. Altering metabolic chemical processes. 3 making the cell perform a new function for inhibiting the action of a specific enzyme. Answer 1. Interacting with receptors 2. Altering metabolic chemical processes 4. Inhibiting the action of a specific enzyme rational drugs may exert action by interacting with receptors. Altering metabolic chemical processes or inhibiting the actions of specific enzymes. Drugs cannot make a cell perform a new function. They can only alter the way a cell performs its current function. The nurse understands that drugs exert the actions on the body by what process? Select all that apply. Of inhibiting the action of a specific enzyme B. Making the cell perform a new function C. Altering metabolic chemical processes D. Interacting with receptors. Answer A. Inhibiting the action of a specific enzyme C. Altering metabolic chemical processes D. Interacting with receptors rational. Drugs cannot make a cell perform a new function. They can only alter the way a cell performs its current function.